Sí. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I have to say that I've never been a really huge Nelk fan. I was exposed to them by Corey, and I had to power watch them with Corey. Some of their videos I kind of enjoyed. I have to say that Jesse was my favorite Nelk boy. So but then along came Steve will do it and a little less Jesse. And then there was Salim. Anyway. I'm kind of a huge Jesse and his dad. Love Pat and Kyle. But shit changes and I guess I have to accept it because I am not Nelk mom so whatever anyway let's get into it and see how much the boys enjoyed Canada um, I guess it's just Kyle who is returning home let's get into it Get to the enjoy the video. I love Kyle's excitement, and I don't know if it's because of the whole gay street in Toronto, but I think he's genuinely glad to be back home. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't don't see that in Canada though. Don't embarrass me, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're the face of the city, eh? There's a bit of thick bit of weather coming in right now. Oh really? Yeah, there's a thick lightning storm coming in. Too quick, so just we'll be alright. Okay. Okay. Any word on the storm? Is there a lot of southern winds today? Or? Uh, Are you recording with that? Where, where, where? Is that a thing? Coming from where? Oh, oh sorry. Okay. We're just making a video. I, you know, I have to say, I can't get over all the tight asses who have to say, uh, I didn't consent to that. You're in a public place. That gives you automatic consent. What's the big deal? If you don't want to be in the Nope Boys video, just let them know and they'll blur your face out. If I had the time or know how, I might blur you, but I don't want to be bothered. You're serious about that, right? You're you watch your videos, done your research? Wait, is New Jersey a one-sided well, work thing? I'm trying to keep my job. I don't know about you, know. but you know. <laughs> okay. <Is New> <laughs> I'm trying to keep my job out. I don't know about you, but okay. We don't have a real job. Actually, we see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, good night. Like, turbulence in a regular plane is bad enough, but like when you fly private, it's flying in a small plane, it's different. I don't like that. There's 300 people on a regular plane, and like if we're all going down, at least there's like 300. At least there's now it's just like yeah. eight of us. That's like, the way I look at it, honestly. You gotta look at it that way. You, you have more people to talk to, Sorry. and it's like, it's like, it's like, you feel, you it's like as it's going down, you're like, hey man, I don't know who you are, but hey, it's great. Love going. you guys, man. Eh? I'm kind of concerned about the, the southern winds today. Okay. Is that like. I don't know. Is there any validity to that or no? Southern, what's the difference between Southern and Northern? It's still blowing. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you should talk to 
ex vice president Core about that. He knows really? about Yes. Oh, right. No, I don't believe in global warming, though. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean it like that, obviously. I'm not an idiot, right? No, not at all. Look at that. Look how bad that looks, oh, man. This is, stall this is sketchy, bro. Storms this is we should go. Oh. Sir, we're not going to let Al Gore dictate how we live our lives. Yeah. Right. We're not going to. So, we're going to get hit? Yeah. Get the fuck George, the are you sure we're going to be safe? No, no, no. Get the fuck in the bus! I made it worse to George, don't me. give a fuck about us. George, <laughs> tell, them Al, tell them Al Gore is a pussy. No, come on. Salim, <laughs> hurry up, bud. He doesn't want to come. I'm going to Canada. Is he actually not coming on the plane? <laughs> guys like that uh, I'd be cowering right along with Salim he ain't stupid he just looked that way sorry love you Salim I'm not going, dude. This, dude, look at this. This is horrible. No, look at this shit. This is horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, I. No, please. <laughs> I would be pleading. Also, there is no way in hell that I would be walking to the plane, let alone getting into the fucking plane. I just meant the plane. Just the plane. Did I already mention in advance? Sorry for the trucker mouth. I should have beeped. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 bro. No, no. We gotta go. Dude, I can't walk, man. I have got this fucking. I have got this fucking. I got a girl to go home. This reminds me of that Denzel movie, Here She Fly. Huh? Wait a minute. Did he just get on the plane and say, I got a girl to go home to? I would not be getting in that plane regardless of my girl. Well, maybe if it was my mom. I love my mom the most. With that said, I don't know that I would chance getting into the plane because my mom would be sad if that plane crashed and burnt. Just saying. Oh yeah, also, I wanted to mention that. Sorry if I'm looking all over the place, but I'm viewing four monitors. I feel like I'm on... I always get in trouble for this shit, because I don't know if it's Star Wars or Star Trap. Star Trek. Uh, whatever. It is what it is. I feel like I'm on some kind of space station where you're in space with stars, but I don't watch stuff like that. We'll get into that later. Let's laugh with the note, boys. I'm right on the line. Settle down. Listen, we're gonna be fine. I'm not scared of shit like this. No, I don't see myself going out. Worst case, we die. Guys, have a good trip, guys. I was dead. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's gonna be a quick, swift death if the plane goes down. Where do you guys get your like weather reports from? Not CNN, right? Uh, I like to get it. I don't, I don't trust CNN's weather. You don't? Know, no, not? I just don't. We might touch a little sexy set today, man. Ah! 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 Views, <laughs> Views from the six, baby. Yo, this is a Toronto! Mom, is that right? Okay. This is... Okay, so far, this might be my favorite part of the video. 
look at their genuine excitement to be in Toronto. I don't know, like, ultimately, I don't think it's Canada in general. I think that they're so very glad to be in the birthplace of King Kyle that they can't contain themselves. Even Salim, who has a girl waiting for... What? I have to say, I remember, maybe I'm wrong, all you Nilk fans, I'm sure will comment and let me know if I'm wrong, but pretty sure there was a point where Salim was saying, yeah, I don't want a girl, I'll never have a girlfriend, or something along those lines, maybe not so old lady accent, I don't know, but it was something along those lines. Anyway. I got the sending to the though. Yeah, we're sending tonight. It's been a while. Wow, this is beautiful, bro. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see Celine's eyes? I ain't gonna bother. I was just about to like flip back, but y'all can do that on your own. It's just wasting time, and I don't want to keep you here longer than you need to be. So let's. Incidentally, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I'm in Toronto. I was gonna say born and raised, but I was born in Sudbury. Although I don't remember much of it because I came to Toronto when I was way too young to remember. Yeah, it was probably 20 years ago. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, oh, right there? Yeah. Yo, that's where the Raptors play! That's yeah. lit, man. <laughs> Sorry, I got it again. Oh my god, that's where the Raptors play! <laughs> Uh, that's right. I love that excitement. It seems genuine. And almost... Sorry, guys. Wholesome. I know, right? Let's move on. Oh! Okay. I forgot to mention also... Incidentally, I forget a lot. So, yeah. You're going to hear some blank spots, and that's YouTube. Getting rid of this stuff that I'm not supposed to be playing. Although they got some pretty cool tunes. And if I am so inclined... Maybe, just maybe, I'll fill in those blanks with something else. But maybe not. Because I'm old lady sender. So, we'll see if it happens. Sorry in advance if it doesn't. But, there was good reason if there isn't. Let's move on. <laughs> Honestly, oddly, I think I have genuine excitement, and I really loved the moment where Salim's whole face was palmed. That's some excitement. He's got a girl back home, evidently. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, 
she's about to eat that girl's face. But I have to say, why did Kyle look so shocked? He already knows the six. Which means he knows what happens in the six. This should not be any shock whatsoever to Kyle. Maybe Selene. Who has a girl back home? Let's proceed. Yo, no, Selene. Yeah, fucking waste you, dog. Yeah, fucking waste you, kid. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so oddly, this is a girl. Oh, fuck. I think her name is Debbie. <laughs> now, she gets herself in a lot of trouble. She likes to fight dudes. She likes to be front and center, and I don't know what she's packing. To be honest, I think she wants for you to believe that she's packing something fleshy as opposed to cold hard steel. But automatically, <laughs> she comes for some salami and automatically his reaction is to turn and look for backup. Backup. From young thug here. <laughs> but it's what you get in the six sometimes. Not always. Let's proceed. Oh, oh, you guys get the fuck out of here, honestly. Who the fuck do you feel like? I'm not Nano. You know who the fuck I am, bro? <laughs> not <laughs> okay. It's actually funny that Salami assumed that she thought he was Nino. 905, aka. I don't know, Jason something or other. I'm pretty sure he... So he used to be in Nelk. And there was this stupid shit about him and Steve will do it and Steve pretended that he was in love with Nino. There was some kit, some skit where they pretended that they were getting married. It, anyway... No, no. Nino evidently showed his dong. <laughs> I don't know if it was like some of the Nook sisters or anyway, he was very inappropriate with his penis and was giving the boys a bad name. So that was the end of his spurt. The end of his spurt. Let's move on. Oh yeah, what, you're gonna go in the yeah. store? Yeah. You're gonna go in the store and be a little bitch, eh? <laughs> oh, you're back inside. Come on, sir. Why are you in my city, my you? Why are you in my city? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I don't know if I missed something, but what are these dudes up there laughing about did they send her for some milk did they send her to see what these boys were gonna do to react to that action Are you offended? Or what? Do so. No, the fuck I am here? What the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck are you here? But let's get the fuck out of my city. No one fucks with you. No one fucks with you, kid. No one fucks with you. Let me catch you in my city again. 
promise you, it will eat you, dog. That yeah, bitch, kid. Yeah, certified bitch, kid. I'm <laughs> scared, bro. Okay, I'm glad they're laughing now because that was actually starting to annoy me. You're a bitch, kid. Like, way to represent. But, again, I'm pretty sure I basically already let you know that I am not Salim's biggest fan. I ain't no cheerleader going on here, shish, boom, bop, whatever. No. But he's a stand-up guy. Because even though she got up on him, he didn't want to hit a girl. Even though it was that kind of girl. Props to Salim. Let's move on. Uh, uh, I, I went inside to tell you what was going on. No! You're ugly as fuck. There, what do you say? What do you say? I'm not doing the gambles, you know? I opened the door and t to tell you, like, there's some girl out here saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Translator, he's like, what the fuck? I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> but she pushed me twice. I was like, alright, this is a woman, clearly. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a fighter, too, so if it was, I'd be serious. Okay, wait. I want to take back what I said. Because, truly, I've known a lot of Debbies in my life. And to be completely fair, if you're going to Debbie yourself up on someone's ass, you got to be prepared for the consequences. He, I mean, Salim was just some random guy standing outside a store. And she went up and Debbied his ass. So props to him for handling it the way he did, but... Oh, Debbie. The moment I saw her a few years ago, I knew that she gave Toronto a bad name. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to remember back and I don't want to exaggerate, but I'm pretty sure she was in... Okay, so she's beat up people downtown. Oh, sorry. Not people. She's put her hands on dudes downtown. And as far as I'm concerned, it's because that's the safest bet. <laughs> because men aren't supposed to put their hands on you. However... And I don't condone it. Mm -mm. Nope. No. However, if you're going to chest butt a dude or put your hands on a dude, then you have to be prepared for the consequences. And the consequences might end up on the ground. And the reason I say that is because I actually saw a video of her randomly. I was watching a TTC video of her putting her hands on a security guard. And he kept saying to her, listen, I just got off work. I don't want to deal with this. Let's move on. Sorry. But she kept putting her hands on him. He laid her down and let her know that he's not playing. So move on or face the consequences. Next thing you know, he ushers her off the subway train. Because that's who she is. But let's move on. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> Why the fuck are you guys chill in the city though? The city is so shit. A lot of people die just chilling in the year. city. A lot of people die? I'm trying to get the fuck out the city because of who I am, you know? Why don't you just get out? I'm gonna go to New York. 
a lot of people die in the city. I'm trying to get out of the city because I don't want to die. What? What? Listen, maybe ghetto like you dies in the city. <laughs> but look how you're acting in the city. Grow up, Debbie. You'll excel in the city just fine if you put away that. <laughs> I'm going to the states. Yeah, it's that simple when you have changes, eh? You guys are in Toronto, come to CLE. CLE, not Cleveland, fam. CLE? CLE. CL? You're not, don't do it because you'll get shot out here if you claim my block. That's it. Yeah, I'm not claiming that block. Wait. What? You'll get shot out here if you claim my block. What? Nobody was claiming anything. They were literally repeating what you had to say. They were just learning some Torontonian from Debbie. Let's move on. McDonald's? Uh, this guy McDonald's. loves no McDonald's. Pickles. I haven't McDonald's. eaten in a while. McDonald's is better in Canada. Though, right? You like meat between your buns? You love meat between your buns. Oh, I almost don't want to say it because a lot of McDonald's are exactly the same in Toronto. Or quite similar, but I think they're at the McDonald's by my house. Like the mall McDonald's by my house. Let's see. Let's see who loves meat between their buns. A. Eh? Uh, yeah, and also made a lot of man. Oh, oh, you like wow. that shit? Bread and even bread out. Like, bread out. Like, bread out. Like, what about Nutella? Nah. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> they have a cookie mac milkshake. This shit? The don't review. I don't fucking call it mac chicken. No, no. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken. It's way better than America. Really? Mm. What? What? I got the food inside McDonald's. Man. Okay. I'm more than convinced now that it is the McDonald's by my house. Not by my house. But my main mall McDonald's, which is two intersections away. But I'm pretty sure this is Pape and Gerard McDonald's. And What's convinced me is the pylon behind dude. Oh, look at Celine looks so concerned. Anyway, it looks like there is like a Planet Fitness. Pretty sure I saw that stupid dollar store, Absolute Dollar or something. Anyway, pretty sure that this is the McDonald's at Pape and Gerard. Just saying. Let's proceed. I got it. You like it? Oh, oh, it's your fine. Go hit on him. No. Say something. Wheel him, wheel him. No. Just say something. No. Come on, let's see your name. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, dude. Excuse me. My friend likes your chin. Can I get a water? Does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah it looks sure. nice. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it. You can sit here if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Kyle. Sorry, I know it's open. No, what am I ordering? Yeah. He, he's my assistant. He has a night off. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Gabriel. Gabriel? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Everybody, when he sat down, this guy's oh, like, ooh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he wants him to start. He's not even shy. Right now. What are you guys up to? Just like chilling. Just chilling, all right. Yeah. You could have a night off somewhere. Yeah. Okay. A hundred and ten percent confirmed. Planet Fitness, Staples, Absolute Dollar. Uh, that is Gerard Square McDonald's at Pape and Gerard.
Had I have known that, I might have went and got a cookie shake too. Probably not. Anyway, let's proceed. <laughs> yeah, do you want to come? There's like a few spots that like yeah. me and my friends are hitting up Maybe later. Number and I do yeah, for sure. What's your number? Maybe he does have game. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'll follow you up. Thanks, man. I'll follow you up. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Nice meeting you. Should give him a big hug. If you like want that kind of thing. Not right now. Little secrets. I'm not doing it. No. Back alley. Sorry, it's like a no, Manny. We're all down here. So if you like, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, no, no, mm -mm -mm -mm. no. Dude was clearly just horny. It is not a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there where you have to say, Meet me in the back alley. <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Nope. Mm-mm. I mean, it is a very different world. I have to say, Corey, who was from Brampton, when he came to see me in Toronto... It was a whole new world to him. I remember walking down Young Street with him and some random man was stuffing his hot dog in my face, begging me to test his wiener. And Corey couldn't contain himself. But there was no back alley bullshit. <laughs> There's just some crazy bitches going on. <laughs> Look at him. Wait a minute. I hope that's a cell case and not so... Okay. I'm not an iPhone guy. But I hope to God... Oh no, okay. I was just gonna say. Is he like, come and meet me in the back alley? I'll take pictures with my iPhone 5C. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Let's move on. I'm like parked over there though. Sounds good. Alright. Okay. Nice to meet you. 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 What did he say? You guys said this up? Oh my god. <laughs> did you guys set this up? Okay. Here's the funny thing to me about this. So, when you leave that McDonald's and go down the stairs and round the corner and continue north up Pape, because it's at Pape and Gerard. If you go up Pape, there is a bridge that'll take you to Carlaw, or you can cut through the parking lot, which will take you into Gerard Square or Food Basics. But I have to say, there was a time where I often frequented around that corner because it's kind of a secluded area where you can go and smoke a joint, have your drink that you got from the liquor store around the corner on the other side. I can see how somebody would coerce somebody around that corner because it's the perfect corner. I'm sure nobody set that up, dude. I'm sure. He just wasn't fulfilled by McDonald's meat. Or something. I'm just saying. I don't know. Let's proceed. Hey, you real? Why don't you go behind the car? I'm nugget after that. His car is parked right there. He's like, you gonna come over? It's a bit aggressive, though. Is he your type? No. You gotta start pumping, man. When I pump... I love how Kyle is encouraging him by telling him he needs to go hump. Wonder what Kyle's gonna be balls deep in while he's in Toronto. Are we gonna find out? Hmm? Oh, let's see. I don't know, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, I kind of think it's the spot, but I don't know. 
Maybe it's not. But I think it is. <laughs> so ridiculously familiar with the spot that it's gross. The same. Let's proceed. The time? Yeah. Like two days ago in Brazil? From Paulo? Probably a hooker though. Yeah. You're like gambles, you can only get fucking hooker kills. You gotta start pumping now. That's crazy. Would you manhandle? He was, we did mess He was cool though. He was yeah, he was nice. You don't like aggression? Depends. I'm really on you, yeah. Oh, like, and it cheered me up, I swear to God, for my whole life. My mom passed away in 2017, and I was still in high school. I've been supporting you guys since Lucas wasn't known. Before you even joined, before all you guys were here, it was you, Lucas, Jesse, and you guys cheered, like, you guys cheered the shit up out of me every time. I watched the video and to see that you guys have this huge business now with Nog. You guys have the happy dad. Like, I just want to say congratulations to all of you. I'm so proud of you guys. I just want to say thank you for like everything you brought into my life ever since like the, the hardest times all the way up until now. I'm, like I'm shaking. I can't even speak. But thank you guys. Cheers, bro. Kiss. Thank you. That fired me up. That actually fired me up. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start. I can't even tell you how much that fired me up. Because I know that there were times where Corey would come for the night and he would make me watch video after video after video after video after video of Nilk. And I did because I knew that not only did Nelk lift him up, but he believed in his heart that he was a piece of Nelk. Anyway, again, I get it. With that said, Initially, when I first saw Dude, I thought, is, is he the one that works at Harvey's? The location I won't mention. But then I thought, no, I don't think he is. With that said, who are you? Reach out to me. Email me candidcontributions at gmail.com c-a-n-d-i-d c-o-n-t-r-i b-u-t-i-o-n-s at gmail.com um I don't know reach out Instagram nail nymphos n-a-i-l N Y M P H O S. Um, short of that, if I don't contact you back, because I'm not all up on my social media, contact Corey. Um, really? Corey Laker fan. At Corey Laker fan. C O R E Y L A K E R F A N on Instagram. Anyway, there's ways to find me. I want to know who you are. Connect with me, please. Anyway, let's proceed. That was beautiful. That fired me up. Me too. That like, actually fired me up. Me too. Me too. Oh, that was from the heart. Okay. Yeah. I almost like teared up. It was from the heart, and I almost teared up also. And look at those Americans not realizing what us Canadians are about the heart. You know how it goes, but I have wine. <laughs> I, okay, first and foremost, sorry in advance for the mutage. 
I don't know if I mentioned that already. But YouTube doesn't like some things that knock. With that said, uh, I was going to say I recognize the McDonald. It's a couple of blocks from my house, but look at Salami's face. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> anyway. I don't know where they are right now. They in the club. In the six club. So they could be anywhere. Let's proceed. <laughs> Let's get it. He just drops. He's like, last night the uh, baddest pitch in the club yeah, wanted you. Yeah, you're the new six god, eh? It was just a fun night. up on there on the tower. There's a lot of beautiful women, but like... There is... I got a girlfriend. There's a lot of Toronto chicks, or what do you guys think? I'm not Did it live up to the hype? I'm not from Canada, but I see a lot of things. There is a lot of things up here in Canada. Especially Toronto. But I could be biased, maybe... I don't get out much. I've seen Kingston. With that said, yay Toronto bitches. Let's proceed. Hey, hey. Oh my God. And now it's Both Friday. Video I know, I know, it is Friday. Yes. Yeah, it's some things out here for Kinda sure. Absolutely struck out, but I got some eyes. Got some eyes, it's like, man. Eyes don't get you kills, you know? No, it was like, <laughs> kind of like <laughs> bottle eyes, you know? Did you pump yet? No. Uh, Campbell's look, he's the one. bird coordinator here, though. Chappie's. Yeah, but he can't close. Okay. I don't pump. I'm like trying, trying, trying to try, try, try so see that time, but I don't know, man. I'm on a two-day bendy going on three, you know? Would you call us on two days? Suburbs? Yeah, this is, the, I think. It, uh, with that said, lately with Toronto heat waves they've been in the early 30s or sorry the late 30s early 40s dudes wearing a hoodie makes me want to punch him in the throat sorry that's like the definition of the suburbs this is beautiful you like grew up here right mm -hmm. Go Was there you. bad bitches around here? Oh. Yeah. Back in the day. Okay, wait. Oh, back in the day. I just caught that. Okay, so... Suddenly, it looks like they're in the country. With that said, I'm not really sure where Kyle's from, other than Ontario. But they're in, certainly not in Toronto. They are Definitely in some kind of cottage country, as far as us Torontonians go, anyway. But let's proceed, because there's bad bitches wherever they are. You ever went to went over to their house and shit? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, what? How old is Salami? Did you ever go to their houses? <laughs> Did you go to your girlfriend's house, Salami? Like, what? <laughs> what? How old you? Like 80 kids on our street. Like, it was like a neighbor. complete shit show. Alright boys, so um, now we're back probably like 10 minutes from where uh, me and Lucas grew up. Milton, Ontario. Um, we're gonna be pulling up on one of our old teachers. Uh, it was my grade 7 teacher. By far the best fucking teacher that best I had my whole fucking world, career. She's like a work hard, play hard type of teacher. Yeah. You don't have that teacher that you just don't forget and it's just like clearly your favorite teacher. Yeah. She loved me, but she, the, what you guys gotta know, she didn't love everybody. She was very strict. She actually hated some people. Like, for example, she hated Manager Drew. <laughs> like, she, she just ripped Manager Drew. Not, not hard to tell why. Yeah. I didn't like him, but. And then, scary. I'm a year older than Lucas, and then Lucas had her the next year, and she loved Lucas, too. She has no idea that we're coming. We're gonna buy her a, a whip. Yeah, it's cool to come home and do this give back. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I 
think I automatically thought like sorry, never mind. Type of shit too, right? It's yeah. pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. What's good in Melton wait. boys? Tell them what's up. I can't up. wait to see it. It's chilling. <laughs> it's chilling. <laughs> it's the same old shit, man. How's the Melton beds? You're the Oakville ones are better, eh? Oakville's way better. You guys are looking for girls with money, eh? Alright, let's pull up. Let's do it. Oh, don't you cry, guys bro. don't understand, like, this is gonna be fucked. This shit never hits me till it's, like, right about to happen. The Canada love is lit, though. Yeah. It's all where, where, it, where it all started here. Does she know the whole squad's She has yeah. no idea. Did she even know we're coming yet? Oh my god. Right, I'm pretty nervous, so. It's the right hatch, right? Hey, buddy. What? What's up? What are you doing here? Hi. Oh my god! Immediately, she, like when the boy answered the door, I thought, does he know who they are? But immediately, as Kyle enters, you know she knew who he was. <laughs> How are you? 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 You know, it's funny because in my mind I was thinking, How old is she? Either she has not aged, or I'm old. Let's proceed. You look the same as what I have. I swear to God, are you guys here What's up? What? No, 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 no. Have you seen the video, Seth? Have you seen Tan? Yeah. I've seen Tan. Adam hasn't seen any, obviously, but one of my faves is the one when you're at the mall, when you're the mall cop, when you're pretending to be the security guy. Oh, yeah. And the lady is the lady. You're like, excuse me, man, sunglasses are not allowed. My mom and dad are gonna stop by too if that's cool. You sure! Like yes! You're like, still teaching at yes. Tres? Still at St. Therese? You are at Therese though? Still, still at St. Therese. Oh How's it God. been? All that time you've been there. She probably remembers them from parent teacher night. Just saying. Sorry, so I teach grade 8 now. Guys, you're making you that hair is making me so happy. <laughs> no, it's just cool. Yeah. Do you have your own YouTube channel? I totally get it, because the camera freaks me out, too. I'm probably older than their teacher, though. Let's proceed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that speech you wrote, okay? Adam is actually talented legend. You remember? Oh my god, you that's the best line ever. ever. I was nasty at teachers. Really? Adam was talking about Harry Houdini, and I said, I taught this boy, Kyle, who wrote the best speech, best speech ever that I've ever listened to, and his delivery was awesome. He had the best line. Over my speech. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 you you probably fucked up that hard. <laughs> that was the best speech I ever heard in all these years. Well, I already know what I'm doing. So how are you here? I know. Man, it's funny. Me and Kyle always talk about you. Just talk about, you know, when you remember that one teacher, and that uh, was just that for both, and it was. I love their reunion. Like, I love it. I love the way she totally. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Oh, uh, let's carry on. Weirdo, you like this both, I felt like. Aw, thank you, Lucas! Oh, yeah. 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 You know what? Yeah, we didn't have the iPad for about a week. So a week? Appropriate choices, so oh. we had to do uh... that. Right, so. Mom, we're yeah. not supposed to talk. Oh, yeah, we're not supposed to talk about it. That's fine. We're not supposed That's to talk it. about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Wow. This is how you're living, eh? I'm gonna have to hit the slide, but we'll see. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is Father Forgy. What's up? Hey, the father? Where's the guys? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Too. How's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. 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 You look well, just like Kyle. I know the guy says that. Only two years older. Same thing. 
Kyle looks just like his dad. Anyway, let's... Uh, <laughs> is he a troublemaker? Always social. Same same way he is right now, right? Yeah. yeah. He was always the got the kid, right? That got the other kids going, and uh, really? yeah, it was kind of a natural sort of leader. I am so not surprised, <laughs> cause well, he's still leading. Oh, what happened? Okay, he's a great leader for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Kyle was valedictorian, eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, valedictorian. <laughs> it was like this guy. This there's this man sitting behind us, right? And he goes, he goes, holy shit. He goes, that guy's gonna go places. <laughs> yeah, wow. Stop. Yeah, you're a valedictorian. That's crazy. Oh yeah. All right, so we got the whole gang here now. My mom is here too. What a nice backyard. We have the. This is our oh, squad. This is Celine. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Chantal, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You make me so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mom. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Out of K to 8, he chose you as the teacher to oh, visit. I love it. Hi, right, Mr. Pedal. Yes. So we didn't come here to prank you today, but we do have a little something for you since you left the mark on so many of us. We've thought about you so much over the years, so. We have a surprise for you outside. She's <laughs> you deserve it. All these years, you've left the mark on you so many you people. Only because you are our most so favorite many teacher of all time. Like, you actually definitely impacted us. Well, I'm so happy to hear that, although you guys are my shining stars. But, but, like, you definitely helped us get through. Uh, we got you a brand new ring to us. Come on, Ron. What? From us. From the Nelk Boys. You like it? You'd be riding in style now. This is crazy! What do you think, little bit? Are you serious? Yeah, we're dead cool. serious. It's all yours. Oh my god! Did he see it here? Come on! Does mom get one too? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> You're awesome. You already had it so cute. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you for everything. Oh my god! You helped us so much. What the hell? You deserve it. I'm sh I can't even. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is like totally unexpected and totally. See what I mean? That is so genuine. How can that not touch your heart? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. get over that <laughs> like she jokes about the Range Rover <laughs> anyway oh what happened yeah that's pretty amazing She's ridiculously happy, and rightfully so. Let's proceed. A little bit surreal for me. Nuts. You definitely 
like impacted us, like you know. I've been I've been fighting I the know. tears. I, I'm not crying on camera. Even saying yeah. it, I was like, oh. <laughs> it's tough. You get a little fucking water. We must have did something right. Oh my god. What did we do right? This is nuts. <laughs> 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 Gabriel, cue the fight. <laughs> Show you camera time. That's what it is. Huh? He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's a smart guy, eh? Hey? Also, put it in there. Eh? Oh, this guy was a beauty, eh? Hello, beauty. That's good, eh? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh! Is this your actual hair? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like you were playing out. Is this your actual hair? Like the boy wore a wig. Tim and Mike's manager Drew hanging over here. Fan Carl on the street, dude. I'm sorry, I got it. Kyle always says it's because of the fans, right? Oh, it must be. You killed in the last video, but I was dying. Thank you, bro. That's good. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Happy dad? You know what he did? Those are my favorite. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I got someone that wants to. Hello. Uh, Switch Mario. Yo, what's up? Oh, hi. <laughs> How you doing? Good. My name's Adam. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> yeah. I love the Leafs. Yeah. We got, we got Big Mitch right there. Oh yeah, there he is. Always watching yeah. over. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you yeah. Bulls fan or what? I swear, Bulls. <laughs> Adam boy. I appreciate it. Enjoy. Man. Cheers, bro. Have a good time. Cheers. Bye. Thanks. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the washroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was so happy to see you at the door, you and Lucas. Yeah. I'm so grateful. I always knew every one of my shining stars would always do amazing things. I'm so happy to have seen you today. Thank you so much for everything. That's good seeing you. Thank you. That's so Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's emotional, you know? Like, giving back is always like, you always look for it. Thank you. I love that. It was great meeting all of you guys. Seeing you on Happy that's a hit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the great work. Uh, here's to 10 million. Let's go. Yeah, guys. I think 500,000 likes and we go visit Salim's parents. What do you think? Ethiopia. Just so you know. Right now? Right in Ethiopia. My mom and my dad. Alright, I think, yeah, 500,000 likes and we go visit Salim's parents this time. Go visit the Nelk Boys. Watch their. What is it called? I don't know. They're coming back to Canada video. <laughs> Give them some fucking likes so they can go to Ethiopia and we can meet Salami's parents. Let's do that. Let's proceed. <laughs> No, we started the Full Send podcast, and we're uploading episodes every single Wednesday. It's also going to be available on Apple Podcasts, but the YouTube channel's right here. The link's in the description. We need everybody to go and subscribe. In two days, in we're dropping an episode with Shaq, and Drewski's going to come through, too. Shaq's about to pull up right now. If you guys don't want to miss that, make sure you head over to the channel right now and subscribe. Hit that channel. I'm going to do that. We should all do that. That. Hopefully he shows up. I mean, if, I, if he shows up, I'm still continuing momentum of being liked by the Nelk audience. So yeah, new podcast every Wednesday, and then new Nelk episodes every single Monday. Pretty fucking sweet, boys. See you next Monday. They're gonna be busy. <laughs> Very busy. With that said, I'm linking in the description the Nelk Boys channel gonna find their podcast I'm gonna link it in the description again I want to thank you for stopping by and sharing this special Nelk Boys episode with me because well it meant something to me 
And, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't have went to McDonald's even though they were there, but... Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. I hope you come and see me again real soon.